Welcome back. I'm now joined by Christine Williams, who loves the cold weather because it means hockey season is in full swing. Christine, we, we've seen a lot of action so far. A lot of teams may be living up to expectations or not quite, but what's the team that's impressing you the most so, much, so far? Well, we knew that Washington, Pittsburgh, Detroit were going to be successful, but what no one was expected was for the Montreal Canadiens mm. to be leading the Northeast Division right now over the Boston Bruins. They were fourth in the division last year, and there was a Cinderella story of the playoffs, but that was mostly due to Yaroslav Halak, uh, their mm. prized goaltender. They traded him in the offseason, so there were a lot of questions surrounding Carey Price. So sure. uh, he's turned out to be fantastic, though. He has 16 wins. But what's wow. most impressive wow. about the team is that they only have one guy with over 20 points, and yet they're still leading their division right wow. now. Wow, Sp spreading the wealth. The Canadians have got to be happy about that. Let's talk about a singular Canadian who is maybe the MVP of this early season. Talk about him a little bit. Right now, the MVP would have to be Sidney Crosby, hands down. He has 48 points total so far. He's leading the league. He has 24 goals leading the league. And right now he has taken on the offensive load of the Pittsburgh Penguins by far. He has triple the number of goals that any wow. other uh, Penguin yeah. has. And he's just taken on this, uh, the offense totally. It, without him, they would not be doing nearly as well. Off, uh, Malkin has been extremely ineffective and he's been uh, really questionable. So right now, he is the most valuable player to the Pittsburgh Penguins. Well, wow, it's no surprise with Crosby. We all know he's, he's had that kind of talent. We're now gonna send it over to Christian Bender, who's with Andy Harris to bring us up to speed on MLB Free Agency. Christian? Thanks, Eric. I'm joined now by the red-bearded wonder himself, Andy Harris, to talk a little bit about the winter meetings in Major League Baseball. Now, Andy, they've already had one free agent contract come out of all these big-name free agents. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, that would be Jason Wirth, and that has to be one of the worst deals I have ever seen. Absolutely. I have no idea what National GM Mike Rizzo was thinking. Not, se sorry, seven years, $126 million to a 31-year-old? Who's only just recently gotten good. Yeah, he only became an everyday player in 2008. And look, he's been really good the last few years, but you don't give that much money to virtually no anyone, way. let alone Jason Ward. So how does that affect a guy like Carl Crawford, who's ar arguably, and not even a question, better than Worth? Yeah, uh, that just did. Carl Crawford right now is sitting home licking his chops because he knows that he just gained about an extra $10 million, maybe an extra at year least. or two, on his next contract. At least. Because he is absolutely worth more than Jason Worth. Younger, like you said, better, longer, you know, better track record of success. I, I'm, I don't even want to think about how much money he's going right, to get. There's always one big name, Cliff Lee. Where's he going to go? New York. He's going to the Yankees. Let's, it's not even a debate. All right, now in the ALE, sticking there, Boston made a big move acquiring Adrian Gonzalez. How does that shape up for next year? Like, they didn't, we weren't able to extend him, so what does that mean for the Red Sox? I think they'll get an extension done during midway through the season, if not before, you know, dur during the offseason. Um, it definitely vaults them ahead of the Rays. You know, the Rays are losing some key pieces like Crawford, who we just mentioned. Um, Adrian Gonzalez, one of the best first basemen in baseball. I can't see, I can't wait to see what kind of numbers he puts up in Fenway Park after yeah. moving from Petco, the worst hitter's park He was park a power hitter in Petco, and Fenway's much smaller. Absolutely. So, so yeah, he definitely makes them a lot better. No just question. Just makes their lineup that much better. All right, we've got to take another commercial break, but when we return, Eric will be joined by some NBA experts to tell you about who is the most improved player this year.